experiment that I have been waiting for. First off, I have to apologize for the annoying clicking that you can hear in this video. I had someone new behind the camera and I didn't realize the mistake they were making until the video was finished. And of course, once you start the experiment, you can't go back and redo it. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy watching this experiment despite that. Okay, and as you can see here, this is the chemical glove box, which I made using uh, sheets of polycarbonate. And actually, it's not really a glove box because there are no ports for the gloves. Uh, however, I didn't think that was necessary. Okay, so let's run through the list of ingredients. First off, we have distilled water. And next we have formamide, 30 milliliters, which is the star of the experiment. And we have sodium pyrophosphate, which is used as a catalyst to catalyze the reaction. And we have 20 milliliters of distilled water. Okay, so let's uh, begin. Okay, so first off, we're going to add the two grams of sodium pyrophosphate using the funnel to a 100 milliliter round bottom flask. And this is a special quartz flask, which allows the penetration of UV light, which will be used in the experiment. So there's our sodium pyrophosphate. And next I'm going to add something called montmorillonite clay, uh, two grams of that. And uh, this is something that which is uh, present on the early earth, which is believed to be, have been a catalyst for many chemical reactions. <clears throat> and there it is, montmorillonite clay. Okay, and next, we are going to add our formamide. And again, 30 milliliters of formamide will be added. And lastly, we add our 20 milliliters of distilled water. So now I'm going to uh, fit the round bottom flask with a fitting which will allow any vapors given off to be directed towards the fan in the back. And I'm going to attach a stopper to the uh, fitting so that there's only one uh, port where the vapors can escape. As you can see, we have our UV lamp, which is uh, 254 nanometers. UVC, they call that. And so now we're going to turn on the heat. And what I have here is an oil bath uh, filled with mineral oil. That's the, uh, that's the stuff inside the uh, stainless steel uh, bowl. 
is mineral oil, and we're going to heat that to 266 degrees Fahrenheit, or 130 degrees Celsius. And I have a temperature controller there that you can see um, to control the temperature of the reaction. And here it is. Here's our temperature controller, which will uh, keep the oil uh, bath at around 266 Fahrenheit. Okay, and so next I'm going to fit the UV lamp with the metal shield because you're not allowed to look at it directly because it will damage your eyes. Okay, and so now here's the completed apparatus with the metal shield in place uh, and the UV lamp on. Uh, and so we're heating this mixture as well as uh, shining UV light onto it. And this uh, reaction will proceed for the next 48 hours. And I hope everyone will join me in my next uh, video, which will uh, uh, highlight the, the results of the reaction. And I want to thank everyone for watching.